having that position to protect your problems and carry this without, I would encourage you to write this down. Um, just pause the video to write down these real problems. I will do that. Alright, so remember the order of operation. We have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, and division. Addition and subtraction. So we're going to focus on just. back half. So we're not going to focus on the T and the E just yet. Remember that multiplication and division are the same order, so you work left to right. Addition and subtraction are the same order, so you work left to right. So multiplication is not more important than division, and addition is not more important than subtraction. So if we look here at our first problem, we have 2 times 2 plus 4. So multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. So we need to multiply this out first. So 2 times 3 plus 6. Now we can add that 4 in our final answer. Okay. So it is again, I'm simplifying in a nice orderly fashion vertically, going down to our final answer. Look at number 2. 7 minus 6 plus 3. So we don't want to do that subtraction first because multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. So we need to multiply this out. So before I multiply that out, I want to rewrite the subtraction. We need to rewrite it as addition of the opposite. So we got lots of practice of this at the beginning. So let's be reminded. It would be plus a negative 6 times 3. So what's really going on is we have negative 6 times 3. So the opposite of So, back when we were rewriting subtraction problems as addition, I had a lot of you writing this. Well, 7 minus 6 is 4. 7 plus 6 is 13. Now, I don't know about you, but I would much rather have $13 versus $1. So, right there tells me that 13 and 1 are not equivalent answers. Therefore, these are not equivalent statements. When we are rewriting it with the, as the opposite operation, notice we have one negative sign, or one subtraction sign. And notice here, I have one negative sign. If you have one in the original problem, you're going to have one in the rewritten. What the rewriting does is it tells us exactly what numbers are negative and what numbers are positive. And it allows us to add. In addition, it's easier for us to think about, especially when there's negative numbers. Because now I know for sure that I'm multiplying negative 6 times 3. Because before, I get questions all the time about that subtraction sign. What do I do with it? Where does it go? So if we rewrite that as addition, what do we know? So I have negative 6 root of 3, which would give me negative 8 root. And now I know for sure that it's 7 plus a negative 18. And when I have the opposite sign, let's subtract the number, I'm going to keep the sign of the bigger number. So 18 minus 7 will be 11. The 18 is bigger, so I'm going to keep that same. That would be the final answer. Again, we are working down in a nice, orderly fashion. Next problem, we have 10 divided by 2 times 5. Now, I get this question a lot, too, or I see it happen a lot. People will multiply the 2 and the 5 first because multiplication comes before division and then there's the MDOF. And this is another reason why mathematicians don't like MDOF is because it makes it seem like multiplication is more important than division, but they are the same order. Division is just Because we can rewrite this problem with all multiplication. Go ahead and do that. Times one half times five. And now we can see why multiplication and division are the same order. Because we can rewrite it as multiplication. So now I'm just going to work left to right. Ten times the negative half, or sorry, ten times the half would be five. Two so times the ten is five times. So now I have five times five. Again, see how it works down in a nice orderly fashion. When you 
don't work in the correct order of operation. So if you would have multiplied first, you would end up getting one. Which again, I would much rather have twenty-five dollars than one dollar. So if there's one a value that I want more than the other, that means they're probably the right equivalent. If they're equivalent, then it wouldn't matter which one you got. Let's do a couple more examples. Three minus five plus ten plus four. So again, when you look at the word Timdos, it makes it seem like addition has a higher order than subtraction, which is not true, because we know that subtraction is just the addition of the opposite. So if we rewrite this as the addition of the opposite, we can see that we have all three additions. So we're going to work this left to right. Five, or three plus a negative five. Two plus ten will give me eight, and eight plus four gives me twelve. That must be the answer. All right, let's take a look at this next one. Negative eight minus seven minus nine. Well, I don't like that. We're going to rewrite it. So I have negative eight plus a negative seven plus a negative nine. Again, when you rewrite subtraction as addition of the opposite, we don't lose that subtraction sign. That subtraction sign stays on that number. We're just simply moving it aside and putting it left on the number. So now I can see that I have all negative values. So if I have all the same sign, I just add those numbers and I keep the sign. 8 plus 7 would be 15, but I keep that negative sign. 15 plus 9 would be 24, but I keep that negative. And that would be my final answer. Look at this last problem. 10 divided by 5 plus 4 divided by 2. I'm going to rewrite this as 10 times the reciprocal of 5 plus 4 times the reciprocal of 2. And in our last lesson, a couple days ago, we talked about multiple fractions. I can multiply this out and then this plus four half. And when you do that, it really becomes clear that you have to do that division before the subtraction. So the order of operations is really important. We can break it down to show why things happen instead of just following a simple act uh, or whatever Mnemonic device, that's what it's called. Wow. All right, so 5 goes into 10 twice, 2 goes into 4 twice, so my problem is going to be 2 plus 2, which is 4. So looking at that original problem, you know we would have gotten this if you made it this far in the video. Um, put the penguin emoji in the chat. Throw the penguin emoji in the chat and I'll throw the extra credit your way. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks